Welcome to Electron Line. Now we're going to show you an example of how to take the nth root of a complex number in polar form. In specific, the number is 27 times the cosine of pi plus i times the sine of pi. And we're going to take the third root. But we have to remember that the representation of that number can be as follows, where we have the angle of pi plus 2k pi, where k can be anywhere from, one, from 0 to n minus 1. Now in this case, n is going to be 3, so the maximum value for k is going to be 2, which means we're going to have to find the root 3 times, the first time for k equals 0, then for k equals 1, and then for k equals 2. So the general form of the root is as follows. It is z to the 1 over n power is equal to r to the 1 over n power times the cosine of the angle theta divided by n plus i times the sine of the angle divided by n. And of course, we have to do it multiple times, each time adding something to the angle. All right, so we're going to first do it for k equals 0. When k is equal to 0, we take the number as is. We don't add anything to the angle. So we could say that z to the 1 third power is equal to 27 to the 1 third power times the cosine of pi divided by 3 plus i times the sine of pi divided by 3. And of course 27 to the 1 third power is equal to 3 times the cosine of pi over 3 which is 60 degrees plus i times the sine of pi over 3. And if you like to work out what that is equal to, the cosine of 60 is 1 half. So this can be written as 3 times 1 half plus, and the sine of pi over 3 is 0.866. That would be plus i times 0 0.866. And it goes like that. And of course, we can then multiply this times 3. And this can then be written as 3 over 2 plus, and 0.866 times 3 is 2 point, uh, we'll call it 2.6, that's close enough, plus i times 2.6. So we can leave it in this form, of course, or you can actually work it out and place it back into the z equals a plus bi form. But now we're going to do it again for k equals 1. And so we have z to the 1 third power is equal to 27 to the 1 third power, which is 3 times the cosine, and here we're going to take pi plus, when k is equal to 1, would be pi plus 2 pi, so it would be pi plus 2 pi, divided by 3, plus i times the sine of pi plus 2 pi, divided by 3. Of course, that's 3 pi divided by 3, which is pi, so this can be written as 3 times the cosine of pi plus i times the sine of pi. And of course, you can simplify that even further. The sine of pi, that's 0. The cosine of pi is negative 1. And so this can be written as negative 3. And for k is equal to 2, we have z to the 1 third power is equal to 3 times the cosine of pi plus 4 pi, because it's 2 pi times k divided by 3, plus i times the sine of pi plus 4 pi divided by 3, which can be simplified to 3 times the cosine of 5 pi over 3 plus i times the sine of 5 pi over 3. Of course, we can simplify that, but we'll just go ahead and leave it in that form. So notice that you need to do this three times because there's three possible ways in which you can express the value of z. And that's how it's done.